Hello everyone. This is the first of a series of videos I plan to make on my Relay computer build. I plan to use this as a means to document my progress as well as get some ideas for possible future updates. This is the first ever tutorial style video I've made as well as my first time trying to make animations. If you have tips for me, please leave feedback in the comment section. Okay, let's get on with it. Since relays are the core part of this build, I felt that I should describe what a relay was and what some of the different types were. The first part of the relay is the armature. The armature is able to move back and forth to touch the contacts of the relay. At the other end of the armature is something called a pole. This is always connected to the armature. Alongside the armature, there's a coil. To operate the coil, an external energy source is needed. In a non-latching relay, when the coil becomes energized, it becomes an electromagnet that attracts the armature. The armature moves to touch the contact, and when it becomes de-energized, the armature moves back to its original position. The primary use for relays is to use a small amount of power at the coil to then turn on a device that uses much more power, like a light bulb. This particular type of relay is known as a single pole, single throw, or SPST relay because it consists of one pole and one contact for which the armature can be thrown onto. There are two variations of the SPST relay. The first on the left is a normal open variant, or SPNO. On the right is the normally closed, or the SPNC variant. Combining these two variants results in a relay that has two contacts for the armature to throw itself against. This is a single pole, double throw relay. The pole is now called the common terminal because no matter what state the relay is in, the armature is always connected to it. When we put this relay into a circuit with no power to the coil, we see that one of the bulbs lights up. If the coil is then energized, the bulb connected to the normally closed contact turns off, and the other one turns on. We can create a double pole, double throw relay by adding an additional armature that is attached to the same coil. Now we have a relay it has two common terminals, each of which has a normally open and a normally closed contact. When power is connected to this relay, both armatures move simultaneously. This allows two circuits to be controlled at the same time. Even more armatures can be added to create relays with three, four, or I've even seen some with eight poles. For the next type of relay, the armature does not return to its resting position when power is removed from the coil. This is what is known as a latching relay. There are three main types of latching relay. The first type, the polarity of power applied to the coil, has to be reversed to get it to return to its original position. The next type is called a mechanical latching relay. It has two coils, one coil to move the armature one direction and the other to move it back. The final type is called an impulse relay. On this relay, the armature will switch states each time power is applied to it. These relays can be used to save energy because they don't require the coil to be powered to hold the relay in a particular state. And that just about covers all of the different types of relays that I know of. Of all these, the relay that I decided to use for this project is a non-latching double pole, double throw relay. Specifically, the AGQ200A4H. I chose this relay because it is small, cheap, and I already have more than a hundred of them laying around from a discontinued product at work. At the top of this relay are the terminals for the coil. There are also three pins on either side of the relay which go to each of the relay poles. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to keep up with the series, consider subscribing. In the next video, I plan to create some of the different logic circuits with relays.